Hey everyone, it's Jakub Vanko for Capturing Reality. In this video, we are going to take a look at color cursors. I will show you what color cursors are, how to assign them, and how you can use them. They can be very helpful for navigating complex scenes, better data organization, and for aiding certain workflows like placing control points. So, what exactly is a color cursor? Notice this little color bar right next to the view type selector. This one is currently set to blue. When I click on a certain image in the 1DS view, the blue color cursor is automatically set to it and it is displayed in the 2D view with the blue cursor. When you assign an object to a cursor, all the views which are associated with the respective cursor will show information about the selected object. As of this moment, you can only assign images, ortho projections and textures to color cursors. Let's try to assign the blue cursor to multiple views with different view types and see what happens. First, let's change the bottom 2D view from green to blue. To do so, first select the green 2D view, go up here to the View Context tab and in it click on Blue. If you ever want to disable the association, you can just click on None. Now both of these 2D views are displaying the same image, but I will change the second view to display 1D information. Now we can see the image itself and all the metadata that are associated with the image that has the blue cursor. When I pick a different image, both views update at the same time. What if we want to also update the 3D view and look through the selected camera? Well, that is possible. Just assign the blue cursor to the 3D view and press enter on the keyboard to enter the camera view. If this thumbnail is distracting you, it can be easily disabled. Go to the 3D Scene Context tab and uncheck Thumbnail. Now when I pick another image, all of the views will update at the same time. We don't have to just click on images in the 1DS view. We can also use arrow keys to cycle through images. Make sure the 2D view is selected and use the right arrow key to show the next image and left arrow key to show the previous image. In this next project, I don't have any object assigned to a color cursor and also no view is associated with a color cursor. They can be assigned by pressing numbers on the keyboard and left mouse click on an object. Blue color is first, so to assign it, hold down the number 1 key and left click on the first image. But since the blue color cursor is the default one, it can be assigned just by the left mouse click to make things easier. Both ways work. In total, you can assign 4 colors blue, green, magenta and coral. We already assigned the blue color. To assign green, hold down the number 2 key and left click on another image. To assign magenta, hold down the number 3 key and click. And to assign coral, hold down the number 4 key and click on the last image. To remove the cursor, just hold down the same number that was used to assign the color and click on the object again. To remove the blue cursor, you need to hold down number 1 and click on the selected object. To remove green, hold down number 2 and so on. Now I will reassign them again. So far nothing changed and we can't see the selected images. To view them I need to assign the cursors to my 2D views. We could assign them through the image context tab like I did previously but it takes a lot of time. It is easier and much faster to use hotkeys. The hotkey for associating a view with the blue color cursor is to press Ctrl-1. Again, the view needs to be highlighted first. To associate green with the next view, first click on it to select it and press Ctrl-2. For magenta it is Ctrl-3 and for coral it is Ctrl-4. To disable the cursor, press Ctrl-5. Another option for assigning an object to a cursor is to drag and drop an image into the view. This image will be then assigned with the same cursor. Just simply click and hold an image, drag it over to the view you want and release. If you want to drag and drop an image but you want to disable the color cursor association, hold down shift while drag and dropping. This is something that you would do when you want to keep your image displayed at all times. This time the color cursor disappeared. Let me assign it back again by pressing Ctrl-1. You can also drag and drop a camera from the 3D view. In this case, you need to press Ctrl while left-clicking on the camera. Hold down the left mouse button, 
drag it and drop it into the view. If you hold down shift while releasing, the cursor will be removed like in the previous case. Similarly, you can assign and remove color cursors by holding 1, 2, 3 and 4 keys when clicking an object in the 3D view or the map view. In the beginning, I mentioned that color cursors can also be used with auto projections and with textures, and that is what I'm going to show you now. While I'm in this project, uh, let me change my layout to 1 plus 2 plus 1 by pressing Alt 5. I will switch the most right view to the map view and make sure that it has the blue color cursor assigned to it. This project already has two orthographic projections created, so let me demonstrate on them. When an ortho projection is created, besides color information, we also get information about depth and altitude. Let's say we want to show color and altitude for the same ortho projection, and at the same time we also want to view it in the map view. I will assign the blue cursor to both 2D views, and select the first auto projection. Right now we only see the color information. I will select the bottom 2D view and change it to display the digital surface model. To do so, select the view, go to the auto context tab and switch the input layer to DSM and also set the view to altitude. Now when I toggle between auto projections, all of the views update automatically at the same time. Finally, let's say we want to view multiple texture layers at once. In this project, I have a high resolution mesh and a simplified low resolution mesh. I bake the color map and normal map from the high resolution mesh to the low resolution mesh using the reprojection tool. To view them at the same time, I will click on the model in the 1DS. Click on the model textures. And next we have color and normal layer. Each layer can have multiple textures, but this model has only one 16K texture. I will assign blue to the color map and green to the normal map. As you can see, color cursors can be very helpful in different ways for better navigating your inputs, but also your outputs. They can also be very helpful for certain workflows like placing control points and fixing misalignments. I hope this video gave you an idea how beneficial they are, and from now on you can utilize them to the maximum.